the simple things that you can do right now, right this moment, to make more money with your plumbing business today. You may have heard the saying that cash is king. Cash flow is king. Mm -hmm. In fact, it may be, you know, cash is king. Cash flow is God. Okay. <laughs> cash flow is, is the blood. Okay. The uh, blood uh, of your plumbing uh, business. Of your plumbing business. Okay. You, you don't have cash. If you don't, you don't have cash. All right. You're, 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 you're dying. Yeah. Okay. You can't, all right. You can't fix equipment. You can't buy new equipment. And the promise of cash down the road is not, is not cash. It's not money. Right. Okay, I'd much rather have $500 today than the promise of $5,000 in a couple weeks. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 362nd episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, mm -hmm. how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. And this is the last part of our five-part series mm -hmm. on the simple things that you can do right now, right this moment, to make more money with your plumbing business today. All right? Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the fifth one. So If you have watched the other four, you're probably a millionaire by now well. and, and put all those things <laughs> into practice. You're, you're, you're on your way, okay? <laughs> you're on your way. The money the money's showing up. If mm -hmm. you haven't watched or listened to the other episodes, mm -hmm. go back and do so, yes. okay? Great All right. nuggets of gold okay. in those. Mm -hmm. But on this one here, we, get, we got, the, got the final one here, mm -hmm. and this is a biggie. We'll mm -hmm. get to it here in a moment here, mm -hmm. but I feel I need to, um, need to recognize our sponsor. Who is our okay? sponsor today? For, for this episode mm -hmm. of Potty Talk. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, let's face it. What? Plumbing companies are a dime a dozen. <laughs> right? And Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. Right. Ain't that the truth? Mm -hmm. Now, it may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. So your logo and truck design are vital to making sure you not only stand out in the crowd, but will be remembered. Kick Charge Creative is the plumbing industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency and has been instrumental in getting plumbers just like you noticed for over 20 years. Well, they've been around the block a time or two. Dan's not that old. Okay, Dan the brand man. <laughs> all right. In fact, Kick Charge has helped many of my clients, all right, such as Works Plumbing in San Francisco, California, mm -hmm. increase revenue by 66% in less than one year. It's amazing. The branding it is. And their brand, brand is amazing. Yes. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. To get more information, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Kick Charge. That's the million dollar plumber .com forward slash kick charge and start getting noticed today. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say about um, kick charge and the owner is Dan Antonelli. We call him Dan, the brand man, because mm -hmm. he is the brand man. He's got a new book, at least at the time of this recording, there's a new book that came out. I think it's a sec second book. Yep. Um, you can go out to, I think out on his Facebook, um, kick charges, Facebook and I think page. it's on Amazon as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it yeah. right. It's on Amazon. Great, great read um, to talk about. I think it's called Branded, Not Blanded, because most home service businesses, especially plumbing plumbing companies, they bland their trucks instead of brand their trucks. It's white right. with some sort of red, white, and blue lettering, um, and you just kind of you you melt into the crowd, right? Right. You're not even noticed. The, right. There's so much noise out there. You're not, you're not standing out, right. okay? It's important to stand out. Mm -hmm. So we, we see it all the time, mm -hmm. okay? Once, you, once you're branded correctly, mm -hmm. I mean, you can literally just be one truck, and all of a sudden, you know, your customers are saying, we see your trucks everywhere. Everywhere, you're everywhere. It's amazing. Right. No, it's just because you're branded correctly. You're, mm -hmm. you're, you're, cutting, you're cutting through the noise. Right. And again, your brand doesn't have to do anything with plumbing. Right. Okay? It's true. It doesn't have to do... You know, I, I use the joke, you know, it can be, uh, you know, cute kitten plumbing and have a, <laughs> someone you know, someday's going to name it cute kitten plumbing, cute kitten plumbing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And have a, you know, cute kitten on the, on the side there. And it's just real clear. It. You know? I do not recommend it. It, it would stand out. Okay. <laughs> it would for most good assuredly or... would stand out. <laughs> and also out on um, kick charges webpage, they've got a before and after, um, page somewhere yeah, fun, on there. This, they obviously before when it's uh, blended and then after what they've done and some other, some of our clients a lot of our clients have used um, Kick Charge. You can go out and check out Jersey Boys Plumbing in New Jersey, Mountaineer Plumbing up in Michigan. Um, what's another one? Babe? Pristine Plumbing in yes. Indianapolis. Just great, great brands. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, so I definitely Kick Charge is, is the way to go. And it's an investment, but um, it, it will make more money yeah. with your plumbing business. So, right. mm -hmm. so there and we I think go. Dan's going to be on the on Potty Talk oh, yeah, here yeah, pretty we soon. Got, yeah, we got him on the schedule coming yep. up here pretty soon. Oh, you do? All right. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's always a good one. Mm -hmm. Good nuggets of gold there.
Okay. Absolutely. All right. But what's a nugget of gold I want to drop now what? for you is, you know, what is something, you know, simple something that you can do right now to make more m- money with your plumbing business a day? Okay. All right. Number five. Joy to the world. <laughs> what movie is that from? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Squirrel moment. Squirrel moment. Okay. Sorry. All right. But what can you Vacation. do? <laughs> Collect payment now. Collect for the job now. What? It kills me. <laughs> These guys that are, you know, we're invoicing, you know, later. And, and if, if, if you remember the invoice, mm-hmm. I mean, that is the dying. I, there's so many. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. The story is just invoicing, invoicing, invoicing. And why are you doing that? Why is that a, you know, why is that a problem? Mm-hmm. Well, first of all, you're not a bank. Okay. And you're behaving like a bank. And you don't play one on TV. Right. right. <laughs> okay. You're financing people with money you don't have. You know, banks don't even behave like a bank. A bank doesn't loan money that it doesn't have. Right. <laughs> a bank doesn't loan money that it doesn't have. Mm-hmm. Or that money that it's loaning is from the people putting money in the bank for savings, right. you know, and that kind of stuff. And your, your money going through, they're loaning that money. Mm-hmm. It's not even that. So, the, you know, and... You know, you, we, we know you go to a banker and you, you want a loan, you know, you need a thousand dollar loan and they say, well, you, what do you have? You have a thousand dollars of credit, <laughs> you know, you know nope. or whatever, what do you have, you know, or, um, or, you know, equity or something, collateral, collateral mm-hmm. that's what I'm looking for, you know, collateral, mm-hmm. like, you know, you know, if you have a thousand dollars in their bank, they'll loan you a thousand dollars. Well, I wouldn't need a thousand dollars. Ask you for a loan for a thousand dollars if I had a loan. <laughs> so you can see, even they don't, even banks don't behave like that because they right. know mm-hmm. that doesn't work. Right. Okay, so mm-hmm. why are we behaving, trying to behave where we're just giving credit out? Mm-hmm. Because we got to pay. You got to pay That's your electric bill. You're, you're buying the supplies. You're paying for all this stuff right now. Salaries. And your sal- right, your labor. And you, mm-hmm. Or you go unpaid or whatever. So th- they, they can pay you, you know, 30, 45, 60 days down the road whenever they feel like it. Right, and you're, you're spending the time chasing your money down. Right. Right, because as soon as you, if you invoice or if you don't collect at the time of, of service, um, all of a sudden when it's time to collect that plumbing, um, emergency that they had isn't so much an emergency anymore. Right. They forgot <laughs> what it was like to wake up in the morning and water pour, pour, pouring from the ceiling or not having hot water or, or whatever it was that, that you came out for that those, mem- that memory is gone. All of a sudden they get this bill for like, what, how, how come it's whatever, how much money, bah, they're right. freaking out, right? That's why, that's yeah. why you're getting those. That's and why you get the bill. Correct. Right. That's why you need to collect at the time of service because that's when the value is. They're, they're still feeling um, the pain and then also then the relief of you having taken care, care of it. it. And it's worth it. And they happily write you a check or, or swipe the card. So, right. You know, so it's getting the money, you know, getting, getting paid you're today. You're not a bank. You're not a Don't bank. Don't act like a bank. Right. Mm-hmm. Also, okay, by, by collecting payment now, mm-hmm. okay, right now, it's that's professional customer service, okay? Why why are we putting the customer through this angst now of waiting on a bill, and now they got to take time to deal with the bill, and then call in with a credit card or write you a check or you know mail get a that, stamp get a stamp, and- all all that kind of process. That <laughs> right. that is so hack, mm-hmm. okay? Because there's nothing else in their process too. You know, we want to make the customer feel comfortable. They don't go anywhere and then pay later, right? <laughs> you're, you're paying right then. It's, well, when, it's you go to, when you go to Walmart and you 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 know have bag up your groceries and you're done, oh, send can, me a bill. Yeah, send me a you know, send me a bill. I'll pay you in thirty days. What? No, the cops. Woo, woo, All right. Woo, woo. All right. You go Taco Bell. <laughs> so you know, Taco or Bell. send me an invoice. Right. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you taken care of. Mm-hmm. No, you're paying. No, or no you, you go and you know to whatever Home Goods or something. You buy something for the house or some clothing store. I mean, just think about it. Where where can you go right. where they're going to bill you for it? It just, it just doesn't happen. All right. So with, with plumbing, com- especially it does, it's, it's a professional service right? Um, to collect at the time of, right. of service. So there's, an ex- mm-hmm. so by you asking for right then that, that really s- that states that you're a professional, they're even going to feel more secure mm-hmm. and it's also going to provide, it's going to, um, that's the value. It's going to give you more value in their eyes mm-hmm. by you collecting right then because right. that's a professional thing to do mm-hmm. yeah because they yeah. don't want to think about you again right when that bill shows up or you call them and say hey remember when we were out 30 45 days ago and you owe us 500 and blah 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 dollars remember <laughs> that and they're like oh, crap <sighs> yeah that sucked i hated having to have now now just reliving that now they're right. upset mm-hmm. and now they're looking at things and now things are more wow i want to break down on that and all, <laughs> all that, that's when all that stuff comes in exactly. now because they're now they're upset mm-hmm. okay they're, right. they're reliving that kind mm-hmm. of a thing 
All right. Yeah, they, they want you and, out of their hair. Subconsciously, yeah, they're half ticked mm-hmm. that they're having to deal with you again. again. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. And so they're going to take it out on you. Okay. By, for one, possibly not paying. Right. And again, we we see this all the time. The ones right. that don't collect at the time of service is about 50% if you ever collect it. Right. And again, normally if you have to, have to call them after 30 days and say, hey, can you give us a credit card for whatever, you're not going to reach them. Right. People just don't answer their cell phones. You can text them. You can call them, whatever. They're, they're just it's not an emergency anymore. Right. It, it's not top of mind. It's not priority. They never wanted to spend money with you in the first place. The problem is done. What are you right. going to do? Sue me? Well, yeah, you can. But and invoicing has gone the way of, you know, the phone book. Yellow and pages. Yeah, yeah, yellow pages, the, you know, the, the old phones that hung on the wall. <laughs> you know, there's things that just move on, you know. Um, you know, <laughs> wide ties. <laughs> Don't come back. Disco. <laughs> Disc, um, bell bottoms have come oh, back. So there's right. that. Okay. <laughs> so you never so, know. So maybe invoicing to come back around, but not right now. <laughs> no, okay? no, no. All right. All right. So collect right then. Collect okay? right then. Yes. Okay. The customer will um, thank you for it. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey. And hopefully, can, one other thing. Hopefully, I don't know if you're saying this. No. Um, oh. Credit cards. Guys, if you're not taking credit cards, you're also making a mistake. Oh. Most people prefer using their credit card. For one, if they you know get miles or whatever, um, they want to use a credit card. Also, it's just easier than nobody has checks anymore. What, does anybody have? We don't own any checks at all. We just, we just yeah. don't. So if you're not accepting credit cards, start accepting credit cards. Um, get some sort of um, merchant account. I think Square is is probably the easiest to get, and they send yeah. you the little swiper thing that you can you know put on your phone or whatever. It really is easy. And don't use the excuse, "Well, I'm just not technical, and I don't know how to set that up." Find somebody, find right. a teenager or a, t- a twenty year old that can help you set it up. If you don't have a CSR or someone else on your staff that right. can do it, find someone that can help you do it because that also professionalizes your company. Right. If you don't accept credit cards and you just say check and cash. Nobody has cash. Is there right. even cash in society anymore? You know, right? it's right. In fact, you come across as a hack. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. All right. You're lowering your value. Mm-hmm. All right. So collect payment now. Collect okay? payment You're not a bank mm-hmm. and it professionalizes professional customer service mm-hmm. to collect now. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, I got something for you just for joining us here in the podcast or you're watching the video here. Mm-hmm. Hello, right. if you're watching the video. Okay. Um, <laughs> our little bot, if we're not watching, we do have a fun new studio with our, our new background, which we're super which excited, yeah, about, super excited about. And then, yeah, someone got us some bobbleheads right here. So um, hmm. it's weird seeing yourself in a bobblehead. <laughs> it's a really weird thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, on our new Potty Talk, not yes. Potty Talk Live, but new Potty the Talk potty podcast. Talk. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. I still have my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint, okay, for just, just being a guest, okay, and, and joining us here. All right, it's my, my blueprint where I lay out the exact specs you need to have in place to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. If I've said it before, I'll say it again. <laughs> you wouldn't plumb a house with, without a blueprint and the, the specs. You know, you'd be wasting so much time and so much money, right? All right? Well, the same thing happens with your plumbing business. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without, without knowing having, what you're doing? Right, without having a blueprint, okay? You weren't taught business, okay? You're a great plumber. But you weren't taught business, okay? I lay out the specs that you need to have in place to be successful, all right? And it's free, okay? I'm just giving it to you. Take advantage of it, okay? All right? Just take advantage of it. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. You can grab your free copy of the Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. Yes. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're talking about... Can I say one other thing, yes. too? Um, we have found, and we've had a couple of clients that have said this to us, sometimes the, the plumber owner is still in the truck. He may have a, a couple guys working for him, but he's one foot in, one foot out, right? Right. Um, and then he's he's got a system in place for his guys that they need to collect payment at the time of service, that they can't leave the house unless they get you know a credit card or whatever. But the plumbing business owner, sometimes, especially if the customer knows him, will say... Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Jones. I know you. We'll, we'll get a bill oh. out to you, right? Have, <laughs> we, I need a buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't do that. Oh. Um, especially if you do have other technicians that are working for you, you do have to follow the system that you've put into place, right? So if they say you kind of skirt the, the system a little bit, they're going to skirt it too. So even you, plumbing business owner, collect at the time of service. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, and this is leading, this is kind of leading towards our, our, our last, you know, our third point mm-hmm. on why you collect payment now. You know, this is, it, it ain't about plumbing. Okay. As the plumbing business owner, we got to stop looking at this as plumbing. 
okay? It's business. And the thing with business is money. Get the money in the bank, okay? It's not get the job done. Right. It's get the money in the bank. Of course we're getting the job done. Okay, that's what, that's part, part, of course that. Of course you're going to do good plumbing. Of course you're going to, you know, have, have the best equipment and the best supplies and you want your guys well trained. Of course, of course, of course, of course, okay? But it ain't about the plumbing. It's about getting the money in the bank, which leads to our, our third point here. Okay. okay, okay. Why you want to collect payment now? Mm-hmm. Cash flow is king. Mm. All right. You may have heard the saying that cash is king. Mm. Cash flow is king. Mm-hmm. In fact, it may be, you know, cash is king. Cash flow is God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cash flow is, is the blood. Okay. The uh, blood uh, of your plumbing uh, business. Of your plumbing business. Okay. You, you don't have cash. If you don't, you don't have cash. All right, you're 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 dying. Yeah. Okay. You can't. All right. You can't fix equipment. You can't buy new equipment. And the promise of cash down the road is not is not cash. It's not money. Right. Okay. I mm-hmm. much rather have five hundred dollars today than the promise of five thousand dollars in a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cash flow. Get that five five hundred dollars in the bank today. Cash right. flow. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I was going to say something about cash flow, and I already forgot. Sorry. Right. You keep. You keep going there. Well, no, it, it's the biggie. It, it's the thing. But we get wrapped up in doing the plumbing, the plumbing, and get and all get them paid and we'll invoice. And mm-hmm. part of it is the emotion of, uh, you know, we, we go over this and I'm going to introduce the, you know, I've spoken of the academy. We get into the psychology of it because that's a big part of it. Mm-hmm. You, you know, 20% of your success depends on doing the right things. Okay. Having the right systems in place. Business things. The right business things, mm-hmm. you know. Um, the right tactics, you know, and the techniques and those kinds of things and the right knowing the numbers and the right, you know, this and that. Okay. 80% of it really is our emotions, our head trash, what's going on, how we're, how we're dealing so with stuff. True. And this thing with money, you know, we've been conditioned a certain way to think about money. And so this is one of the areas where we're embarrassed to collect or we feel guilty or we're uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. We got to get over it. We've been conditioned that way. Right. Wealthy people aren't uncomfortable. No. <laughs> Money's just a tool. Mm-hmm. Your okay. attorney, if you are big enough now to have an attorney, which anything past a couple of trucks, you can tr- at least have a relationship <laughs> with an attorney. He's not embarrassed to charge you money. Right. He's not, he charges what he needs to charge. Right. And he's going to charge it. Right. Mm-hmm. Amazon's not afraid to charge money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the gas stations aren't afraid to charge money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everyone's, you know, it's just, okay. It's just, it's just, money's just a tool. Okay. You know, it's just a value swap. Okay, that, that's all that's happening there. So we got to get over this, okay? We got to collect, okay? And if you're serious about being in business, okay, um, it, it's about the money. And you got to collect the money now and get the money in the bank now, okay? That's what, that's what um, will more than just keep you alive will allow you to thrive. Right. Cash flow, mm-hmm. cash flow. Right, again, if you, don't, if you don't have the cash, then you're not able to get the new equipment. You're not able to um, get the new um, CRM or the the new um, scheduling management software, or um, you're not able to um, replace the the drain cable or whatever it is if you don't have the cash. And one of the reasons you may not have cash is because um, you're invoicing and you're waiting 30, 45 plus days. Chasing people down. Chasing people down. And the the cost that you're, 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 whether you're doing it or you're paying someone to do it, you know, it's, it's, it's a cost. It's an expense that that you don't, don't need. Right. And, uh, we say this all the time, learn from our mistakes. We did it. You know, we did it when we first started out, right? Because we thought that's what we right. needed to that, do. That's what others are doing, right. And then I've spent half the time um, chasing money down. Right. And that was before cell phones and all the things, right? Right. It's long before cell phones. But, um, yeah, we did it. But even now to your point, they mm-hmm. see, you know, that Attaboy Plumbing is calling. They're not going to answer the phone. And you leave a message. Uh, we're just following up on the invoice, you know. <laughs> I'm not calling. I'm not calling okay. them back. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, what's something you can do right now? A simple something. It's very simple that you can do right now to make more money with your plumbing business today. Collect payment now. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're not a bank. Stop acting like a bank. Okay. It pro- it's pro- it's professional customer service. Stop being a hack. Provide professional customer service. And then finally, just the business concept, cash flow is king. Correct. And also okay. making sure you're, you are working for the right customer, the Mrs. Jones, the residential customer who um, values the service oh, and wants her day back. Out, now you're just throwing out bonus points. I know so, I am. Right. These are extra nuggets of gold. <laughs> um, contractors, you know, if you're working for a contractor, they, of course, never pay um, at the time of service. So that means they're, they're not your customer. Right. And you are, 
I'm sorry, you're just you're always chasing your money with contractors, right. and they're always nickel and diming you. You can never charge what you really do. I, need I get to a charge. kick out of these guys. I've seen it for years, and if you want to, you know, I'm 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 working for the kind. I'm doing building million dollar houses. Who cares? Up. Who cares? <laughs> All right. All right, they're making the money, right? And you're chasing yours mm -hmm. and living from house to house. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it's just you're just not going to get anywhere with that. No. Okay. No. Um, Again, so I much rather make you know three five hundred dollars on a job and get the money in the bank today mm -hmm. than clearing five thousand dollars you know, three months from now, mm -hmm. you know, it's more and, than and likely you're not going right, to get, right. and again, we, we're speaking from experience. One of the, whoops, I just wrote on you, honey. I'm sorry about that. Um, one of our very first, I don't remember how long we're in business, just a few months. Right. And we got, um, a contractor who gave us all their houses. Right. They were, re they saw a sucker, they read, <laughs> which is what the contractors are doing when they see you. That's mm. what they see as yes. sucker. And okay. they were remodeling. No, but it's my friend. I've been with them. No, they they treat me great. Yeah. I've, I've, <laughs> they were renovating part right. of um, downtown Indianapolis, right. turning some older homes into like, they were tearing down stuff, uh, luxury and homes right. and all the things. Right. right. And they were going to give us all their houses. Oh my gosh. We thought we have hit the jackpot. This is going to be great. And so we agreed to whatever the terms were because we agreed to whatever terms. And well, then we ended up well, chasing money and then ended up, they, ne they never paid. They never paid. They never paid right. at all. And how much, and that's a, how much was it that we ended up 50 some thousand? I don't no, know. No, it was 70 some thousand just to cover. It was just the cost. Yeah, I wouldn't go for profit. It was just the cost right. that we were in the cover. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we got one house done, they weren't paying, and they're like, "Oh, we, but here we've got you got your other one. You can start the other one. We were I was three or four houses in. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, we were young and stupid, right. and, and they, they would give a you know five hundred dollars or what. It's that right. little thing that just keep. It's that hook, guys. You know, you, you know, know what you know we're it. talking about. Right. I mean, you, if you're honest with yourself, and and you know, you know that this is what happens. So, right. um, the other reason too. Um, to collect at the time of service, your your supply house. Sometimes your supply house will will um, you know let you have terms. We don't recommend it. And that's a whole other show. Right. But everybody is making money except for you. Everybody's right. making money. You need to pay your plumber. You need to pay your office staff. Um, you need to pay the the electric bill. You need to pay this supply right. house, right? Um, so why are you waiting? <laughs> 30, 45 days, and you're the one on the hook for everything. Unless you had deep pockets. If you have deep pockets, then that's a whole other oh, whole then, then you can throw money around. I mean, right. you can, you know, you can <laughs> use it in the fireplace. You can use it as toilet paper. You can you know, you just throw money around, you know? Right. But right. well, we're going to assume most right. plumbing business owners do not start out with a, a bucket full of money that they can, you know, that they can uh, ride and become a bank. Right. So, you know, <laughs> I, again, I, I know we're kind of being silly to take, take the extreme to kind of just, you know, snap you out of it to get you thinking of, and seeing something in a different way because it really is a trap and it's a rut we get into it by just invoicing mm -hmm. it's laziness you know that's it's emotional, babe. It's, it's, it's that, laziness that, right. yeah you know that mm -hmm. that kind of a thing and how many do, do we hear i mean when customer clients would come on and they invoiced customers and they would forget they literally would forget because they get so busy right. um with work or whatever it is and just forget to to invoice and then the wife comes along, maybe you know, quits her job, and she comes right. along and you know starts helping with the office stuff. And she's like, "Wait a minute, you didn't invoice for this six months ago, or whatever it is." We have seen that time and time and time again. Right. So, J just a thought, I laid it, laid it out there. I much rather have five hundred dollars a day than the promise of five thousand dollars even next week. Mm -hmm. Even if you just if that's where I'll, I'll do the jobs, I'll get five hundred dollars. I want right now. In fact, in the earlier, you know. In, in part of the series here, we, we talked about, you know, triaging jobs. You know, if you didn't catch them. that, go back, you know, mm -hmm. and take a, take a look at that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I would prior, prioritize a job that would get me, you know, three to $500 in the bank today, as opposed to even a big job that you know, I can make, you know, maybe, maybe clear $5,000, but it's going to be a month. Mm -hmm. No, get the money in the bank today. Right. Cash flow, cash flow, cash flow. Yep. Collect payment now. It is the blood, the lifeblood of your of your company. So there we stop go. cutting off the lifeblood. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> and collect today. Collect today. So okay. there we have it. And that's All right. some of the things that we do teach in much more detail in the, the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. That's right, mm -hmm. sweetheart. Good transition there. Mm -hmm. We want um, we, we go over these kinds of things and we get into the uh, the psychology of it too. That's just, it's that that's a big part of it, mm -hmm. okay? And how we've been conditioned to think about money. Mm -hmm. Definitely, you've been conditioned to think about money in a certain way. Right, and you know what? Some of the things that we haven't mentioned in the Success Academy, we do offer um, different levels depending on what your level of commitment is. Um, in journeyman mm -hmm. and master level, we've got private Facebook groups. 
that are exclusively for members in the Success Academy with other plumbing business owners. And a lot of our, our longtime clients who are now multi-million dollar plumbers yep. um, are there and offering advice and encouraging and you can ask questions. It's a great place to hang out. So right. we also do live coaching classes in the Success Academy um, twice monthly, live group coaching where Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber, right. teaches. And then we have some open Q&A. The so open you can Q&A, you can get your ask, questions yeah, answered. Right. Directly from you. So right. some of the benefits of the Success Academy, not just all the the videos and, and the handouts and the right. PDFs and, and all that, which is great, but other other resources as well. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you're serious, it's there. Okay. Go to. Uh, go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success. Mm -hmm. All right. If you're looking to be successful. 14 love, day free trial. 14. Yeah, four, 14 we're still day. doing that? 40, giving it. We'll do that. For, I just think we're, I don't know, <laughs> until you stop me. Right. I know. I, I put the 14-day free trial. I want that out just so, because I, I, know, I know how we think. I, cause I think that's where I come from. Oh, I don't, I don't, you know, I just want my money, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. Or even, no, we see it all the time. You know, once you get in, you can see what you're learning. If you're, if you're in, you're serious. Mm -hmm. All right. It's, it's so, you know, the value is there. If I may say so myself, there's a lot of value there. It's 30 years of my, my experience here. Okay. And of us growing our plumbing business, literally from our kitchen table with no money. Okay. Baby on the hip. We had three young kids right. when we started. Um, and our daughter, our youngest was three months old when we started. Right. So it was, you have baby on the hip, another one no um, getting, ready, getting ready to go into the kindergarten, another one in elementary school. So right. yeah, life was crazy when so we started. We get and it. when we started, I don't know. I mean, there wasn't the internet so because we started in what year did we start, babe? 2000, 2001. One, yeah. yeah, 2001. So, yeah, internet is starting to, to be around, but certainly not anywhere close to where we, we are now. How we got started was we printed flyers out on <laughs> um, our printer on orange paper because right. our colors were orange and um, blue, right? right? Um, so we print, we were such, we were marketing oh, geniuses geez, right. <laughs> where we'd have orange flyer paper and I would drive around during nap time. So I my daughter could, Dan, Dan that insight, <laughs> Dan Antonelli, you know, our, it was our daughter when it was her nap time, I would put her in the car seat cause she would sleep and I would drive around neighborhoods and, and put the flyers into newspaper boxes, right. um, and hoping that you know people would call us. <laughs> and I remember, I don't know where I'm going, how I got on this, but I remember, <laughs> remember one time driving and it was a real windy day. <laughs> I know where you're going. <laughs> it was a really, really windy day. And I look in the rear view mirror and all of the, the, um, flyers were like, flying through the air and well, someone came out of their house and is like chasing me down to yell at me about putting up, you know, their neighborhood. up the neighborhood. And I know we weren't so worried about <laughs> that we trashed the neighborhood mm -hmm. that it cost about 500 bucks yeah. <laughs> to do the flyers in ink. Right. Remember that? I mean, we were that, Colored. it was like, it, mm -hmm. it was a big deal. We were, okay. Is this what we want on the flyer? Mm -hmm. Because you know, the paper wasn't so expensive, <laughs> but the ink. The stupid ink cartridges. Going, right. <laughs> you know, and so that's how tight it was. That's how tight it was. You know? and so and we didn't have cell phones, and um, you would have to call in to see what jobs, and you would have to pull up to an actual pay, pay phone, phone with the with the um silver cord. Right, it's pouring down rain. <laughs> <And> it's snowing. <laughs> right, <it's> not, <laughs> and you're like, baby, I mean, can I come home? No, no. Right. <laughs> I got more jobs for you. Right. <laughs> you know, so we've been there and done that. Okay, and we start out just like everybody. We we, we shared the example early on. We're almost lost. We almost lost the company from we working did. for a builder because we think mm -hmm. that's okay. We're in the money. That's that's what we need to do. Yeah, we end up having to sue them. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. But once we once we learn, you know, the business techniques and mm -hmm. systems and the right way to think about things. Mm -hmm. All right, we took off from there. Okay, mm -hmm. and so we have all those things down in the academy. We and do, it, and it's there for talk, you. And we talk all those different types of stories and things right. that we've been through to, to help you know that yeah, we we've been there. We made we made all the dumb mistakes. We've made so, the mistakes, so you don't have to. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the mistake you would make is just not taking advantage of the success academy. Oh, I'll just lay it out there. Terrible mistake. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So there we go. That's all the end of the series. All right. Good yes. series. Five simple things you can do right now to make more money with your plumbing business today. Right. Part five. In the can. Yeah, there we go. Do them. Okay. Do them. And the money will show up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. <laughs>